Hello everyone, this is your time again here. Welcome back to another reaction video. And today we are going to be reacting to uh, uh, SFM FNAF video, which is Dark Tales episode two, Disarm. Uh, this one is is by Tech Underscore Search. Now, I react to this video like literally a year ago. I think <laughs> it was a long time ago. I did not know that. I actually forget that this episode exists. To be honest, if if it wasn't for Tech Search himself to notify me in the comment section that hey episode 2 is about to come out you know like i did not know that <laughs> i i forgot about this series if, if i'm being honest you know because there's only one episode and frankly like this this day and age i was kind of like done with fnaf in a way like kind of done you know um even though i'm still kind of like going back to it because you know i don't know it's just like an easy video to make in a way um but yeah i mean since i react to the first episode so i might as well react to the second one you know and then Maybe supporting text source here, you know, to see his uh, progress on the storytelling because he is planning to release season one this year and then he nearly gave up, I think, from the project. Um, which is like, yeah, I, under I understand, you know, because sometimes when you make a project that doesn't, maybe doesn't get that many engagement or like, um, maybe you have other occupation in your life, then yeah, I and mean, sometimes it is pretty hard to commit on a project, you know, and, and I'm definitely feeling that sometimes, and especially being a creator you know so uh without further uh let's just start the video shall we hmm oh man <laughs> for fuck's sake Freddy do something. I'm thinking. Stop daydreaming and there's a fucking X right there. Damn the the cursing. Help me. Oh my god, the puppet. Holy hell. I gotta say the lighting looks better than the first one. And there is a lot of curse. <laughs> oh. You know what, Freddy, you you were really lucky you didn't like decapitate the puppet there. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Okay. Oh, Chica. <laughs> Did not see you there. I think in the last episode, they get defeated by the Nightcore or something. Kind of forget, to be honest. You all right. Were you here the whole time? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got scared and I didn't know what to do. Seriously? <laughs> Are you ready? Shut the fuck up. Stop. Oh, man. <laughs> Please. You can't say shit. You froze too. I did not expect <laughs> a lot of effort anyway. to be honest, which is like wow. It's I guess it does let add some, some emotion, kind of but wow. It's taken over Foxy's room and we were preventing its spread when we kind of fucked up. Hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. We could try and relocate him. No. I don't see a way out of this, because if we move Foxy away from Pirate's home, William will definitely notice. Mm. I have an idea! Oh my god. No, <laughs> I'm being serious. Why is the I audio find so low? Hard to believe. Well, it's true. So, this is about the whole tentacle thing, right? Which is obviously, you know, Molten Freddy, right? From Security Breach. Oh, man, uh-oh. <laughs> what? 
Why the fuck are y'all looking at me? <laughs> uh, fine. So, you know the whole tentacle problem? Hmm. Yeah. So we found a solution. And that is? Cutting off your arm. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Appropriate response. <laughs> nah, you will find a way. Yeah, but it might be too late by the time we do. Can you just like replace it with a new one? I mean, you're an animatronic, right? So, or maybe it's a special why are you doing arm. This? Because we care about you. But why? I mean, you know full well that that feeling isn't mutual. Hmm. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two. Just be careful, man. <laughs> Don't be like Freddy. <laughs> Freddy just like swing the axe on the puppet. It's a miracle that he didn't cut off his head, you know. Closing up the wires. Why? Same reason as to why humans cover up a wound to prevent mm. blood loss. Look, animatronics don't have blood. And they have oil. You have an electrical current. <laughs> Mm. And if we lose that current, we die. Oh. Mm. Die or, sh you know, yeah, shut off, like right? You sit down for a while. Nah, I'm good. Mm. Oh, that's, uh... That worked out pretty well. I'm not gonna stop him. Guys, William's here. Oh, great. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I mean, for this question, what car? Honestly, I don't know what character because I feel like right now I'm kind of done with FNAF, so I think I'm just gonna say, well, whatever character you want to attack, you know, whatever character that you feel like appropriate uh, appropriate for the story. Um, uh, what is the best you think? I mean, I like honestly, I kind of like all of them to be honest, like all 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 four of them here. Because I feel like they have a good chemistry with each other, and I think the writing, like, it's obviously way more edgier than before, you know. Like, there's a lot of, like, you know, effort in this uh, dialogue, you know, which I think quite work, you know. So, I like all four of them, to be honest. I think these four could be have could be having, like, a great chemistry for the series, you know. Um, as for prediction, I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I feel like we only have two episodes in, you know, so I don't think I have a lot of, a lot of like, material to predict you know i mean i i know we're probably gonna see molten freddy at some point you know from security breach that'll be really cool um because we see like the the tentacle problem you know so i think that was directly from uh security breach right and i think you could definitely play more into that obviously and then maybe we get a reveal of you know molten freddy at some point in the future as like the grotesque monster um but yeah i would say that i think the lighting is is better you know and i think the dialogue is, I think, is, is better, you know, I like that it was edgy in a way that kind of make this animatronic feel like a human, you know, uh, but you say it kind of makes sense, you know, um, but uh, yeah, maybe the, the only problem is probably the audio, you know, because like in the beginning, it was like, it was like loud, which is fine. And then on the on the table, it was like pretty small and it was like, whoa, okay, <laughs> that is like a, a pretty big audio difference there, you know, which I think maybe you already addressed that. Um, so yeah, that's probably the only criticism is the the audio that something was imbalanced, you know, something was loud and something was like too small or, or like to hear, you know. Um, and thank God I turned on the subtitle because <laughs> because again, like if I if I have to like listen, like, just like closely listen to their dialogue, then I I probably gonna miss uh pretty much miss miss like all of the dialogue to be honest because maybe except maybe like the the edgy one because they you know they're loud, you know. Um, but yeah, so far it was, I mean, it was a good episode, you know, so I'm definitely, um, I guess, quite interested to see where tech is going to tech, uh, is going to take this story in the future. Um, I'm assuming we're going to get, again, Molten Freddy in the future. He's going to be like the big bad. Maybe he's like working together with William Afton in a way. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this four might be like the main protagonist maybe because it seems like the way it was framed where like the all four of them has like a lot of dialogue in this episode kind of make me feel like oh this is gonna be the main character but who knows maybe uh maybe textures has an, a different idea for which animatronic should be the main character so i don't know um um i, I don't i don't think the toy animatronic exists right because i think this is like a different time where 
Freddy and Chica and Foxy and Bonnie were still in the in a good condition, and they're not in their uh, witnessed form at uh, form. I think so. I don't think the toy animatronic exists. So. Yeah, maybe we're gonna see them in the future. Who knows if the story are moving forward? You know, based on the, uh, you know, FNAF timeline, and I think we see Anard in the first episode. So I think he's gonna come back as well in the future at some point, uh, because I think he is gonna be pretty crucial to the plot. But then again, it's just my speculation. <laughs> you know, um, small speculation for what's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think this is a good episode. You know, the only criticism I had is the audio. But besides that. It was it was fine, you know. I think it's a good time, you know. Um, and I definitely wait and see, you know, where it's gonna when the next episode is gonna be releasing, you know, just just to follow what tech has to, uh, what story that tech is going to make in the future. Because I think he's like a genuine guy. That seems like a genuine guy just trying to make a good story from FNAF, you know. That that I know that maybe this story wasn't wasn't original, obviously, but but at the same time, it doesn't need to be, you know, as as long as the story and the character was interesting or like entertaining to watch you know and certainly the dialogue was entertaining <laughs> in a way um just the audio that's it um so uh, yeah let me know in the comment section below guys what do you guys think about this uh dark tales episode 2 right here you know and if you guys want to watch the original video then again the link will be in the des description below and make sure you guys check a text search channel again the his channel link will be in the description below so make sure you guys subscribe to him and show some support you know because he is planning to do this for like this year and i think the season one was supposed to be uh finished this year potentially but i guess we'll see what's gonna happen um if he actually going to commit you know i mean he's he made a promise so i guess we'll see but you never know man maybe he's uh maybe he's not going to <laughs> maybe something happen in in you know in life Right, because who knows? Because sometimes when I make YouTube videos, sometimes I have uh, also committed to do some videos or like plan to do some videos, you know, have some target. But sometimes that not, that was never achieved, you know, because like something happened in my life and I kind of lose interest. And same thing happened with Tech Source here, you know. So it's a good thing that he made a promise, you know. But I, I would suggest that maybe don't make a promise because you never know what's gonna happen, you know. But I'm I'm still hoping that you are planning to finish this again i don't i don't mean to insult you that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just pointing it out that yeah sometimes shit happens you know so uh if you actually have some other commitments in your life and then you didn't you aren't able to finish this or found like uh, an energy to finish this then that's totally fine man no adjustment here you know at least from my perspective um so yeah textures i guess good luck for your project in the future you know i'm definitely gonna be here uh i'm <laughs> reacting to it you know not doing not doing anything to be honest i just literally sit here and watch the video that's it anybody can do this you know um but either way uh if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure guys you know x that subscribe and like button and share this video guys and stay to more more videos in the future and again i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one then bye